Did you ever have any fears about my future when you learned I was Jeff? How did you feel when you learned you were going to have me? Oh my goodness, Ellie. <laughs> so, um, very excited. And um, we were hoping that you would be a girl. And you were, because mommy and daddy really wanted to have a baby girl. And you changed our whole world. Um, you, uh, we were nervous because we knew that you had a heart condition and so we didn't know what was going to happen when you were born but then you came out and you were so beautiful and then you gave us a little bit of a scare do you remember what happened when you were born mm, not that much no 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 so. when you turned blue <laughs> and then you ended up in the hospital for three months three months three months <laughs> But we were very excited. Okay. And you were super cute. Your turn. My turn? Yeah. Okay. What's your first memory of knowing you were deaf? The first memory that pops into my head is me and the audiologist hooked up to wires and um, getting my implants. Yeah, with Michael? Yeah. So. Was that fun? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember the first sound you heard? Um, kind, kind of. I mean, the first sound I heard was probably <laughs> 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 And then after all the beeps? And then after all the beeps, I heard you. I love you. I love you. What did you first think when you learned I was deaf? That's a good question. So actually, your mommy and daddy, we were very excited. Really? Yeah, do you know why? Why? Well, we took you home after you were born. You were struggling to learn how to breathe and walk and talk. And um, mommy and daddy had lots of people that used to come over to our house, like occupational therapists and physical therapists. and speech and language pathologist and feeding therapist. And when you were eight months old, you passed a hearing test. And so we thought, okay, so she can hear, but something else is wrong. And so for 10 months, we didn't know what else was wrong until we took a second hearing test. And do you know your audiologist, Erin? Do you remember Miss Erin? Mm -hmm. She was there with us and then she sedated you and gave you a hearing test. She put you to sleep and gave you a hearing test and she said, you know what? Zoe is profoundly deaf in both of her ears. What does profoundly mean? That means that you couldn't hear anything. Not even a sound? Not even a sound. What are the other types of deaf? There's mild, moderate, severe, I think, and then profoundly, which is no sounds. Okay. And that was you. And then we were actually relieved because we thought maybe there was something else going on. Okay. So we were pretty happy. Okay. Yeah. Because we knew there was something we could do about that.